Hey guys, it is Clyde Frog here, and I'm going to show you how to extract multi-track audio from OBS Multi-Platform. One of the biggest benefits of OBS Multi-Platform, in my opinion, and why I use it on all my videos, is the ability to record separate audio tracks, so that I can control the volume and edit separately, and not worry about a sound being too loud on the game and my voice not being loud enough. But that's why it's, in my opinion, better than things like Shadowplay uh, and OBS, the beta build, or whatever it's called. The problem is, though, when you record those multiple audio tracks with at least this, you cannot get both files showing on Premiere. I don't know if it's the same with Vegas, but they just don't show up. So I went through an easy way to fix that. Um, it's foolproof. It works every single time. It does take a few minutes to do, and this might not be the best method, but it works every single time, and it's a really easy method. What you want to do is download a program called Handbrake. I will put that in the description below. It is a great program for video uh, for fixing your videos. There's, it has a ton of tools, but this is what I use it for. So you want to you get here. This is Handbrake right here. You have the normal preset, and you want to make sure you stay with that because it will reduce the time for uh, encoding the file and in time for compressing the file. Because the file is going to get compressed, the sound you will have no sound degradation or anything like that. But okay, you go to audio. And I'm gonna just gonna import this little this little uh, Rocket League gameplay I have, and you drag that here, and you'll see it scanning the title, and it wait, takes a second. And now we are when under audio we see uh, we I am at a bit rate of 320 on my videos, and you see source, and there's source one and source two. Those are your two audio tracks. I, I use two, so there might be three or four, depending on how many somebody uses. But So you want to do is go to one first, and then you go to video. You bring the quality all the way to the highest it goes, well, the lower quality, shall you say. And that will take a few minutes to encode. And you just change the file name. You can go to file one. We'll name it file one. Okay. So now, when we are here, we just hit start from this screen. And this will encode the file in a very low bit rate, but the sound is going to be different. The sound quality is going to be the same. Uh, you're not going to have any degradation, anything like that. And then you, you just go back, and when after it's done encoding the first time, you want to go back and you click on the second audio source, under audio, and encode it again, but you have to change the file name. So we'll name this one file2. Whoops. File2. And now we encode that again. And what you do is you take the original file you have, the original recording, which would be this one right here for me, and you'll have two more. All you do is merge the audios in an editing program such as Sony Vegas or Adobe Premiere. And every single time it works for me, it works flawlessly. I notice no sound degradation, and it works flawlessly for me. And I hope it works for you guys too, because I, this was one of my biggest struggles. I kept trying to wonder how I could do it, and this just, uh, this just came in my head of how I can do it, and it works flawlessly for me. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any uh, questions or comments, you can leave a comment in the chat down there in the little comment section. And uh, like the video if it works for you and dislike it if you don't, I guess. But uh, I'm pretty sure it will work for you, so I hope you guys enjoy this and I hope it works. Thanks for watching, guys. Did I just poop? Wow, I really did poop. I was, I was, I was joking about that whole fiber issue earlier. Uh...